The Louisiana Governor's Mansion sits along Capitol Lake near the state capitol in Baton Rouge. The property covers eight acres and includes a swimming pool, tennis court, vegetable garden, and rose garden, complete with a fountain. The 25,000 square foot mansion includes three stories and a basement. In 1963, Governor Jimmy Davis initiated plans for this mansion. He and the First Lady wanted to design in the Greek Revival style. Oak Alley Plantation and Vachery inspired the architects, who left out the second floor veranda because they felt it was too informal. Welcome, I'm First Lady Donna Edwards, and this belongs to you, the Louisiana Governor's Mansion, our temporary home. Including Governor Davis, the mansion has been home to nine governors, their families, and their pets. When Governor Murphy Foster took office in 1996, his wife Alice started the Governor's Mansion Foundation to return the home to the former glory and beauty it so deserved. The foundation was dissolved and now John Bell and I have started a new foundation to include the exterior of the house along with the interior. This is our state drawing room. Most of the furnishings here are reproductions of 19th century pieces. The chandeliers were made around 1830 they were obtained in Europe and refurbished in New Orleans. All the crystals were replaced with 19th century hand-cut crystals found through various dealers in Paris. The two large serving consoles were moved here from the old governor's mansion. Marble replaced the original wooden tops to better match the decor. Also taken from the old governor's mansion, the bronze doorknobs on the first and second floors which are embossed with the state seal. The drawing room rug has a notable pedigree. The same company, Edwards & Fields, that made this designed the carpets in the White House and on Air Force One. The team wove Louisiana heritage into the design. Our state flower, the magnolia, oak leaves and acorns, the fleur-de-lis, and some of our crops. With private funding through our Governor's Mansion Preservation Foundation, we recently recovered the sofas and chairs with help from our wonderful design team. The fabric is a reproduction of a Michelangelo papal robe that is on display in the Vatican. Throughout the house, we have a large collection of museum quality artwork that's rotated periodically. All the pieces currently displayed are on loan from one of the state's largest art collections, Roger Ogden and the Ogden Museum of Southern Arts in New Orleans. The governor hosts state dinners and cabinet meetings here in the state dining room. Many celebrations and events are held here also. A special feature of this room is the wall covering. The material is Scalamandre silk. This wall covering was hung during the Foster administration to pad the room and improve the acoustics. Without it, the room would be very loud during events. The 23-foot mahogany table can comfortably sit 24. It can also separate into six tables that could accommodate 36 people. Glenn Armand, a master craftsman from Alexandria, created and generously donated the table and the silver chest along the fireplace. He is also designing chairs to complement the table. The China cabinet houses the original China chosen by the five governors who served before the Governor's Mansion Foundation was established. John Bell and I are in the process of creating a new pattern for our state China. Above, we keep the First Lady's China, which features a beautiful floral and butterfly pattern. It's used for my luncheons and meetings. The dining room rug was designed by the same company that made the drawing room rug and again tells the story of our state. Our seal is on each end and there are 64 fleur-de-lis across the rug, one for each parish. 18 stars line the border to symbolize our becoming the 18th state to join the Union. Remember the number 18, it will come up again later. Just inside the front doors, the main entrance hall and rotunda have many special features including small details most visitors don't notice. The marble flooring was quarried and fabricated in Italy. The spectacular marble motif in the rotunda contains a six foot diameter slab with 2,500 marble pieces forming the state seal. The eye of the pelican alone has more than 25 individual pieces. Now, notice the base of the seal includes a magnolia blossom, which is not actually our state seal. That's a bit of artistic license by the designer. It took him and two assistants nearly two months to complete the entire piece. W.A. Coco, a master craftsman, created the suspended staircase. Hanging above are portraits of each governor who has lived in the mansion. 
Each painting is reproduced from original photographs taken when the governors held office. They're arranged in chronological order. Jimmy Davis, John McKithen, Edwin Edwards, David Treen, Charles Romer, Murphy Foster, Kathleen Blanco, Bobby Jindal, and John Bell Edwards. Above the portraits, the names of each of our 64 parishes line the border of the rotunda. A Louisiana artist hand-painted them. The light fixture was transferred from the old governor's mansion to add more historical content here. Above the light fixture, here's the number 18 again. 18 stars symbolize Louisiana as the 18th state to join the Union. Maybe the most fascinating feature of the room is the wallpaper. Its custom-made, never-before-used design features a fleur-de-lis intertwined in the stripe that was named the Foster Stripe. Through these doors is the governor's private office. Now it's time for the most popular feature of the governor's mansion. This mural covers all four walls to symbolize each corner of our state. In 2000, the first Governor's Mansion Foundation commissioned artist Osiklis Ozols, co-founder of the Academy of Fine Arts in New Orleans. He came in every day for six months to paint. His trademark is hiding details in his paintings, and we'll see, he's very good at it. He returns to add something personal about each new governor. In the coastal corner, Governor and Mrs. Foster are seen walking along the beach holding hands, along with their camp and a sign that reads 1492 to 1892. In 1892, Governor Foster's grandfather was elected governor, and they served 100 years apart. This corner is a favorite for kids. You've got an elephant and a piro. Pretty unusual sight. This represents Governor Treen, who was the first Republican governor after Reconstruction. He was very much out of his element at the time, and the elephant in the Piro is also very much out of its element. There's also a boat with two men hoisting a large camouflaged box. We like kids to guess what they think it is. They'll say, an alligator, the Loch Ness Monster. In actuality, the box is simply a camouflage thermostat. The northwest corner includes a deck of cards for Edwin Edwards, who promoted the expansion of legalized gambling. In the same corner, a postcard of the Superdome is a tribute to Governor McKithen, who was responsible for its construction. The turtle marks the long and strenuous amount of time put into building the Superdome. The northeast corner showcases a guitar and sunflower for Governor Jimmy Davis and his famous song, You Are My Sunshine. The chocolate Labrador Retriever was a beloved pet of Governor Blanco and an important part of the mansion. A collection of books on the lane represents Governor Romer, an Ivy League graduate and avid reader. The road with deep ruts represents the hard times Louisiana has faced and its inclination towards greatness. A large stack of books was placed on the road for Governor Bobby Jindal, a Rhodes Scholar. Over one of the doors, there are common flowers grown in the state along with a ribbon in blue and gold, which are the state's colors. The shape of the ribbon is MM. This is the Roman numeral for 2000, the year in which the mural was painted. The artist forgot to add azaleas, a very common flower in Louisiana, so he painted a seagull bringing in the azaleas in the Grand Isle corner. Over the other door, he painted some common crops found in Louisiana. The Perique tobacco is grown in St. James Parish and nowhere else in the world. Sugarcane, Creole tomatoes, peppers, strawberries from Tanjo Parish, and cotton are also common crops grown in our state. Thank you for joining us on our video tour of the Louisiana Governor's Mansion. I've had a wonderful time and I hope you have too. If you or someone you know wants to learn more about our state home, explore our website to find more information about taking a personal tour of the Governor's Mansion.